come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Alan Wake. We last left off, I had got to the train depot, and we got a new flashlight. Okay, I'm gonna re-get the new flashlight. It's bigger. Pick up the heavy-duty flashlight. I'm assuming that the light is gonna be a lot better, but in exchange, I'm anticipating that it'll drain the battery a lot more. So here's a coffee thermo. Now, I always wonder what the coffee thermos meant in this game. I used to play a game, Nightmare on Elm Street, back in the day, and the characters would take the coffee to wake up or stay awake because if you fall asleep in that game, Freddy is going to get you. So I was just curious to know if the coffee thermos represent Alan Wake being maybe trapped in a nightmare and he's drinking a coffee thermos to wake up. You know, maybe this is all just a bad dream. Or maybe I'm just thinking too deeply into things. All right, so I was just doing a little exploring, making sure I'm not missing anything. There's a green switch here, and we're going to go ahead and proceed. Or not. <laughs> Did I call 911? Interesting. I don't trust you, pig. Never have. Never will. Ow. Those things, they aim is too good. Why is he so fast? All right, so far it does seem like the flashlight does uh, weaken him a lot quicker. Yeah, it's a lot quicker. Shoot, I gotta hurry up and take this big guy out. Right in the mouth. Bye bye. I didn't even know you could do that. I would have used that. I would have like lined him up and used it. Even though the explosion seemed to had go to go <laughs> had went upward. Jeez, I can't talk today. All right, we're just gonna take our time. See, the fog is is up, so let's just take our time in here. Look around. Look, check our corners. Call it. <laughs> look at you, damn creeper. Oh man. It's always a big guy, then there's a little one always sneaking up on me. All right, that's one down. Yeah, we're gonna, we're not gonna be cute here. We're gonna switch batteries. I think I said that already, last video. All right, check the corners. Whoa, what's, what's this? In light, you can hurt them. Okay, paint buddy. <laughs> We're halfway through the game, and I think we learned that the first three minutes of this game, I'm starting to think there's something wrong with you. You could have told us that in the beginning. All right, I'm fully loaded. There's a TV. My instincts tell me to stay away from it. We take the facts of our existence. All right, what do we have here? Unaware that they are merely a thin veneer. Desperate self delusion covering a Since the man in the mirror, I'm gonna watch these. Let me shut up and let him talk. All too often, the stars are right in night springs. Tonight's episode a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in night springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlith, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, that I looks am like serious. Snowden. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durden. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... Lucky <laughs> <laughs> bastard. What? What did you... 
Oh, spoke too soon. Oh man. Well pleased, Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand years. <laughs> they meant that literally bear fruit not as creepy as the man in the mirror but maybe more disturbing oh geez here we go with the fog check your corners there's a lot of these emergency boxes here let's go ahead and grab this Alright, so what do they have in store for me? I'm a little worried. Oh shit! You gotta be kidding me! No! 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 Like, I'm just gonna keep saying no because I can't believe this. Ah! And it's kind of fast too. Alright, get out of my way. I gotta find a way to, like, put the little guys and the tractor on one side. That's not gonna happen. I <laughs> Alright, that's one out of my way. Wait, did he run over his own guys? Yeah, he did. They didn't die, though. It's stuck. Why would you put me against a tractor? Where did you come from? I think he just, yeah, he killed his own guy. Here, have some of this. Oh, man, come on. Dude, I... Okay, so that's one thing I wasn't expecting. That whole time, I was expecting a bear... To be like, you know, when the trees were being knocked down and boulders and things. I thought it was like a, a huge dark bear, not a tractor. Alright, I gotta concentrate. I don't know how to really beat this thing. It seemed like the flares was doing some good damage to it, though. Wow, that really sucks. Alright, so that initial stun should buy me some time. Yeah, he's running over his own guys. He actually weakened them pretty good right there. Here, eat this flare. I don't know what's more effective, to hold the flare while I'm close, or to throw it on the ground like I just did. Ah, no, I almost dodged the wrong way. It's not fair. All right, good. That was a good dodge. Where'd the other one go? This damn thing's out of control. He don't know who's on his side. All right, I'm going for this emergency box or not. Here, here, here. Yummy. Eat that light. Take that light. Take it, take it. All right, give me, give me. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. No. <laughs> Alright, we got a little flare for it. That should buy me a little time. Where is he? Alright, good. Stay over there. Stay over there. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, get close. And flare time again. I would like for him to get stuck. Alright, yeah, that should hurt pretty good. In combination with my heavy duty! Come on, come on, come on! I am so sorry. I'm gonna be so annoying because I am, like, really scared. Who would expect this in the Alan Wake game?
Oh, oh, luckily my dodging skills are so good. All right, that should be, that should do it. Why are you still alive? You're such an angry tractor. I actually did it. Oh, I'm not worried about you. I just took on a tractor. Anybody else over here? All right, I need some lemonade. I, I need, I probably need some damn aspirin too because I got a headache. That was intense. I was not expecting any kind of battle like that. Freaking tractor, a live tractor. All right, let's give it, oh, it's a vehicle. I wonder if I can use it. And there's another thermal. So we'll go ahead and grab this real quick. I don't think my heart can take much more. Get to the truck. Get to the truck. Yes, we can use it. What a fight, though. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Right. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. That is true. Just like a thoisty man would... <laughs> No, I was I, I I gotta calm down on YouTube because I've been getting demonetized way too much. I was gonna say something really stupid just now, but it is so nice to be out in the daylight. This game is so beautiful. Like, look at this. The scenery is amazing. I know it's not gonna last long, so I'm just gonna soak up the scenery. So we're headed to the coal mine. The kidnapper is there. I don't think the deal is gonna go through the way Mr. Alan Wake thinks it's gonna go. I'm just hoping that Alice is really alive because it would be so tragic to, you know, to go through all of this and find out she's dead. He's been talking to like a darkness, Alice. I need to look up and see what the proper term for those guys are. I'm going to just call them the dark. Even though that sounds kind of bad. <laughs> There's another vehicle here. Two vehicles. One looks really beat up. I could live here. I'll build me a nice little cabin. Oh, you can drive this. Nice. All right. We're just going to follow the path. I mean, what could happen in the daytime, though? So we're safe. We just... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa there. Controls are pretty bad. taking a lot of damage all right i'm just gonna drive like i got all the time in the world basically this road if you want to call this a road is really curvy really jagged all right i think i'm here i'm probably not here but there's a place here with a car Let's check it out. Inspector Wake. Checkpoint reached. You know what? I might actually take that car. I like how it's just cars laying around. Nice cars at that. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. <laughs> I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks. Oh, don't worry. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put my foot up his ass eventually. That dude is annoying. He just opened and fired like he wants me dead so bad. Wait, where did my car go? Maybe there was two. Yeah, there it is. We're just going to use this piece of crap. We might need that other car for later. 
Who knows? They got all these cars here for a reason. I'm pretty sure I might have to escape the coal mine at some point. I didn't want to go outside. The cops had to be looking for me. 